Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a new book for you guys today. It's called Animal Mosaics and it's color by number by Sun Life Drawing. I have showed you guys several of their books. There was a Christmas book, there was an animal book. Um, they were color by numbers. But this one is mosaic, which is the spots are to me a lot bigger and I am so happy um, about that. And this is the color palette for the book. Um, really pretty. Yeah, see, this is the one Animal Quest, um, Animal Love Quest, and the Animal Christmas Quest. I have those three. All right, this is, let's get going. I love that elephant on the front. It's so pretty. All right, we've got 25 mosaics, all animals. Um, the pieces are colored from 1 to 22, and you got all, your contents here of all the animals you have, the deer, the bears, the monkeys, pretty much all the favorite animals. So they're in order, so you can kind of like count 1, 2, 3, 4, I want to do the peacock. You can go to that page and you can, because, and you can start coloring it, because it's kind of hard to sometimes figure out, is this what I wanted to color? Is this the snake? Is this, you know, whatever. So, yeah. So, second page that I skipped, the palette. I like that they added this. This is, um, it was blank. I colored these in with the first page that I did. I had used, um, Prismacolor markers, the pro markers. So, when I did my first, um, picture, I used my own color palette. Now, if I were to use a different set of markers, my Ohuhu's, Hughes, I would do them in here, but I'm going to label, like, I'm going to say that this was my, um, Prismas. So that way, when I go to do, a, um, another picture and I want to use this color palette, I'll know that I use my Prisma colors on this one for this set, 1 to 22. And then on the next set, I might be the Ohuhu's, it might be some Tombos, it might be colored pencils. So... You can keep them and check out which ones, you know, keep track of which ones you use. So I really like that feature. So this is my color palette that I used for the owl picture that I did. And we'll get to that in a second. Right now, you really can't tell, you know, looking at it, what the pictures are. I just know that this is a deer. But um, look how much bigger the, um, the little um, spots are to color in. I love that. And in between each one is a little white space. See the little white space? So it, it looks like a mosaic. Which I really think is awesome. So I'm just going to flip through a little bit of these, even though you can't really tell what they are, just to give you an idea. Oh, this one's the peacock, I can tell. And it's going to be really pretty when it's colored in. Almost did that one first until I saw the owl picture. I can tell this one's the camel because I can see the pyramid in the background on the camel here. This is the owl one I did. And you just follow the numbers. I would just take out, a, um, I would line up all my markers and I did my color palette. Oops, wrong page. I would mark in my color palette. And then that way I could keep track of it for the next time I wanted to use the same color palette. And then I just started filling them in. And if you look at my Instagram, it's also Orion's Girl 93. Um, it's they have there is a link on my channel. You can see step by step. I took a picture after almost every color, every other color, so you can see the progression of it. It is really cool. So a couple of spots that you can't tell right here but a couple of spots my marker got out of control <laughs> it wasn't me i'm gonna blame the markers my markers got out of control and the it kind of bled through to the white section so all i did was take my signio uniball gel pen and for the parts that did do that all I have to do is go right over it and you never know because this covers up everything so great tip if you um, go over the line don't even worry about it use your white signio no problem tip for you guys 
All right, I love the owls. I love the contrast of the fall colored leaves and the blue background, green background, and then the pretty color of the owls. I love it. So let's keep flipping. Um, see, I had protected, I had a piece of paper back here, some cardstock. You can see all the colors, you know, they go through, but no biggie at all. And they have the color palette listed on the back of every one, so you don't have to keep flipping back and forth. This picture happens to be the elephant that's from the front cover. So this is going to be really cool to do, too. I really like that. This is a dragonfly rabbit. Oh, I'm going to do this one for Easter, for sure. What is after the... The rabbit, the kittens, dolphin. Oh, the dolphins, I see. They got kittens, they've got wolves, tigers, a little bit of everything for people in here. And let's see. That was an eagle, the very last one. Alright, and they give you some places where you can follow them. They give you some, um, you can stop the video right here if you wanted to follow. Uh, let me get a little closer so you can see it. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram right here. Go check them out. It's a great company. I love their books. And that's it. That's the last page. Here's what the back looks like with their color palette. And remember, you don't have to follow their color palette. You can actually do any color you want. The spine and the front. Again, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is Animal Mosaic Color by Number by Sun Life Drawings. And I'll put the link to this at the bottom so you guys can check it out. If you haven't subbed, please hit that button and that thumbs up. That really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down at the bottom and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.